Hello and welcome to the solutions of J mains 2019, 10th April morning slot. So here we are on the first question in mathematics, what it says. So let us move on to the first question. It says that all the pairs that satisfy the inequality 2 raised to the power under root sin square x minus 2 sin x plus 5 into 1 upon 4 raised to the power sin square y less than 1 also satisfy which of the following option. So, let us see the question is related to the trigonometry as well as inequality. So, you can see the left hand side is carrying two variables one is x and another is y and there is an inequality sign out here. Now, I am taking this term to the right hand side and this can be easily done by because this is positive, positive terms can be cross multiplied. So, here we have our first step, you can notice also this term will be completing this into the whole square. So, our first step is 2 raised to the power under root sin x minus 1 whole square plus 4, this is the term on the left hand side and I am taking this term to the right hand side, this is 2 raised to the power 2 sin square y. Now, you can notice a very important concept here that this term has to be less than this term. Now, when this is possible, this term will be less than this term always for x and y. For this to happen, you can notice here that the minimum value of this term is when this term becomes 0. That is, the minimum value of this is equal to 2. Now, this 2 raised to the power sin square y is to be greater than under root of sin x minus 1 whole square plus 4. Now, this to happen and you can see that this is greater than 2. Now, this to happen, this is only possible when sin square y will be equal to 1 and sin x will be equal to 1. As the value of this term cannot be greater than 2, so the equality will hold when this will become 1 and this will become exactly 2. So, both will be equal to 2. So, sin x is to be equal to 1 and at the same time sin square y is to be equal to 1 or we can say sin y mod is equal to 1. So, you can notice here from this sin x is equal to mod of sin y. So, the option which is correct here is the first option. Let us move on to the second problem. Now, here we are on to the next problem. This problem is related to complex numbers. Now, what is given here? If A is any constant which is greater than 0 and Z is a complex number 1 plus iota whole square upon A minus 1 has magnitude root of 2 by 5 then the conjugate of z is equal to. So, here we are having four options. Now, the approach is important here, otherwise this question is going to be a lengthier one. Now, you know a very important property when two complex numbers are equal, then their modulus is also equal as well. So, what I am going to do here, I am going to take the modulus on both the sides. So, here we are modulus of z is equal to modulus of 1 plus iota whole square upon a minus iota. Now, again you can see here it will lead to the modulus of 1 plus iota whole square upon modulus of a minus iota. So, the modulus of numerator it has got value equal to 2 and the denominator will give you a square plus 1. Now, this modulus 
is having value root of 2 by 5. Now, equating these two, we have 2 upon 1 plus a square is equal to root of 2 by 5. Now, squaring on both the sides, you will notice here that the value of a square will be equal to 9 and from here, we have a is equal to plus minus 3. Now, it is given that A is positive. So, we will take only A equal to 3. Now, from here, we can calculate Z which is equal to 1 plus outer whole square upon A minus outer that is 3 minus outer. Now, if you expand this and you can rationalize this, you will get the required complex number and that complex number which you are going to get here is z is equal to minus 1 by 5 plus 3 by 5 outer. So, the conjugate of z definitely will be the fourth option here that is minus 1 by 5 minus 3 by 5 outer. So, again we are going to the next problem. The next question is interesting one, it is based on permutation. Now, the question reads as the number of six digit numbers that can be formed by using the digits 0, 1, 2, 5, 7 and 9 which are divisible by 11 and no digit is repeated. You know the concept of divisibility by 11 that is the sum of the digits at the odd place and the sum of digits at the even place. The difference between them has to be multiple of 11. So, here we are let us say we have a 6 digit number that is A1, A2, A3, a4, A5 and A6. So, the sum of A1 plus A3 plus A5 and the sum of the digits at the even places that is A2, A4 and A6, this difference has to be a multiple of 11 that is it is equal to 11 k that means the difference may be equal to 0 as well. Now, looking at the numbers it is 0, 1, 2, 5, 7 and 9 you can again uh, rearrange the numbers and you can check when this equation is possible. So, if you notice that the numbers if we take if we take the combination of say where here we have 0, 1, 2, 7, 5 and 9. If we take numbers that is sum equal to 12, if we take 1, 2 and 9 here, the sum is equal to 12 and at the other place we take 0, 5 and 7. You can notice that this is the only possibility when the sum is 12 and this sum is 12 and the difference is 0, definitely this number is going to be divisible by 11. So, arranging these three numbers that is 3 digits 1, 2 and 9 at the three different places, we can do this by factorial 3 ways. And again, arranging these three at second, fourth and sixth place again by factorial three ways. So, this is the first case we are having that is factorial three into factorial three. Now, there is one more possibility as well. You can change these three numbers at odd places that is A1, A3 and A5 and 1, 2 and 9 at the even places. So, there is one more case and we have to add this possible case as well. Now, if you notice here, if the 0 is coming here, you can cannot place 0 at the first place. So, 0 should not be placed at the first place, 0 may be placed here at A3 or A5. So, this can be done in two ways and again remaining two numbers can be arranged in two ways. Now, these three 
are to be arranged here and that can be done in factorial three ways. So, if you look at the value this will lead to 6 into 6 36 and from here we have 4 into 6 that is 24. So, the sum is 60. So, the correct option here is third. So, third is the correct option. So, let us move on to the next problem. 